Hi, I'm Drew Conkling, and today we're learning about what causes belt flutter. You already know that belt flutter decreases the belt's efficiency and the performance of the accessory components. The belt won't have proper tension throughout the system, so it's going to ask the tensioner to work harder to maintain tension. And belt flutter can even damage components. But what causes belt flutter? Incorrect belt length is one of the main causes. Another common cause is a worn tensioner because it can't maintain proper belt tension. Flutter can also be caused by customizing or modifying the belt drive system, like a decoupler pulley on an alternator. When you remove the pulley and put a fixed pulley in there, belt flutter will most likely occur. The original alternator decoupler pulley actually has a damper in it, which acts like a mini tensioner. Basically, it allows the component to freewheel one way and then drive the other way but the damper helps absorb the vibrations and the load. So if you remove it, everything has to be done by the tensioner. In this particular system, the tensioner is not designed to do all of the work by itself. A final cause of belt flutter is using the wrong cord material or wrong belt for the application. If you use a polyester corded belt in a drive that requires an aramid cord from the factory, you'll have belt flutter. Polyester stretches and elongates and emits harmful resonance frequencies so that belt flutter will actually create harmonics called torsional vibration which can damage the system. On the other hand, aramid is super tight and doesn't stretch. You'll mainly find them on smaller four-cylinder displacement engines and diesels. Thanks for watching.